Hi, welcome, and I hope you're doing well. Here I have a brand new Acer Aspire C27, and I just took out right off the box. I wanted to do a benchmark test on this computer here. At least it show you the score. And if you decided to buy this computer here, hopefully that this video helps you to decide if the score, the benchmark score fits your needs, or maybe you want to do an upgrade or maybe buy a better computer, it is up to you. But I just wanted to do a benchmark, at least give you an idea what are you getting right off of this Acer Aspire C27. Now I got to apologize in advance that my angle on the camera, I'm not able to film the entire computer because this is a 27 inch, the monitor is too big and I can't you know, film the, the, the whole screen and show it to you. So you would have to trust me that this is the Acer Aspire uh, C27-962 it has the 12 gigabit, uh, 12 gigabits of RAM 12 gigs of RAM uh, it runs on an Intel i5 this is the 10th generation CPU Intel uh, it has 1 gigahertz I think this turbo boosts up to 1.19 gigahertz okay so this is run on a Windows 10 uh, home version and the installation date like I said, it was a brand new out the box, but it looks like the manufacturer dated back in November 20th, year of 2020. All right, so this is the computer here. Let me go ahead and close it out. And this is the 3D Mark bench test. And I'd like to run the benchmark test so that at least you get to see the result to determine whether this is a good fit for you or not. Alright, so um, while the benchmark is running, I'm going to uh, talk about something that I'd like to upgrade in this computer here. So this computer here, it runs on um, 512 MB M.2 SSD drive. Here I do have the Western Digital, and this Western Digital is 1 terabyte. Uh, it's the M.2. NVMe and let's see here uh, there's not much details about it you know you're just gonna tell you like 2400 megabyte per second that's the read read speed on this and what is the write speed probably it's about the same um, yeah so what I'll be doing is this sorry um, it is actually doing the benchmark test right now so I'll keep quiet for a while let the benchmark run and I'll come back and do some talking again about how to clone the hard drive
Alright, so that was the first part of the benchmark test and this is running on the second part of it and I don't think there's an audio on the second part so I'll continue to do the talking um, before you skip forward or anything I just wanted to say that I will be doing a teardown on this model uh, this, this computer here I'll be taking things apart and I'll be adding the um, what do you call that the uh, the new M.2 drive into it swapping the original one with the uh, aftermarket M.2 so when <clears throat> excuse me so I'm gonna do that video on a separate uh, video try to look it up or I'll try to link it somewhere on the top left or the top right one of those corners <coughs> excuse me um, yeah so during the teardown I will be explaining on how to upgrade your RAM um, upgrade the M.2 drive uh, things like that um, what else is there uh, yeah how to change out the motherboard so um, try to click on the other uh, video to watch that if, if you're interested but so far it looks like uh, the graphic is not that great meaning that you can see the um, the benchmark having this lag like the graphics is not smooth when it runs you can see that the graphics uh, have this little jagging uh, pic pictures and it, it moves frame by frame so if you're gonna use this one for gaming uh, obviously this is not the best choice to go with but if you're talking about I'm gonna use this for my day in and day out like checking emails doing my word processing Excel spreadsheet uh, things like that um, I think this computer can handle it uh, shouldn't be any problem after all you'll be running with the M.2 drive that the speed of that hard drive will be more than sufficient enough now he has a big screen right so it's good for you uh, it's good for the eyes you can see things more clear more bigger um, and this allows you to do two monitors meaning that at, uh, at the back of the screen there's an HDMI output uh, I believe there is one so you can actually have two side by side 27 inch uh, you know consider your external monitor is 27 inch now um, what else is there so it has a built-in webcam in the top here um, also the microphone is built in I believe the pixel is 720 um, but if you want a high resolution you can buy a separate you know um, USB webcam that goes for 1080p now uh, I think we are almost done with the benchmark at least I like to show you the score on this one here uh, then you can decide what you want you know to get for yourself now what else is there um, besides this you're gonna ask me if you can upgrade the CPU uh, the answer is no the CPU is pre-built into the motherboard so you're not able to upgrade the CPU um, if you're gonna ask me can I upgrade my graphics card on this one the answer is no because there's no additional slot for graphics card for you to slide it in so the motherboard is just a built-in for graphics card uh, the same time is for the CPU right so there's no additional add-ons or upgrade you can do uh, in terms of RAM I believe you can upgrade the RAM so this is a 12 gigs RAM maybe you can bump it up to 16 uh, or maybe up to 32 the max uh, in terms of the hard drive uh, I'll be doing this so that way you can you know get to watch the video and how to upgrade to a larger capacity now um, you need to watch one of my video about the cloning because uh, like I said the original 512 gigabyte is here in this computer is installed what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clone the computer over to this new M.2 drive okay so when I do the clone everything is gonna migrate over to here including my windows you know my data everything else will be cloned over um, this video here is not gonna show you how to do the cloning I do have a separate video just dedicated for how to clone um, you know from your old computer to an upgraded uh, SSD drive so check it out I'll try to link it somewhere in the left or the right here somewhere here or in the description below 
check it out that video on how to do the cloning. All right, so the benchmark score came back. Uh, the score here is 778. The graphics is 688. The CPU is 3079. So obviously you can see that the graphics is very bad. Bad. Uh, I shouldn't say very bad. It's, it's, it's bad, not for gaming. Now, if you want to know what is the uh, what is the graphics card uh, is here. So the graphics is actually an NVIDIA GeForce MX thirty one three zero. Okay, so that is the uh, graphics card that is pre built into this system. Um, and obviously, for gaming, it's not an ideal, but for any other thing else, I think it's okay. Um, all right, so check out the link, check out the description. I will link the uh, cloning video that I made in the description somewhere here or there. Um, also, I will link how to do a teardown on this computer, upgrading the M.2 or change out the RAM or the motherboard. So, stay tuned. Uh, thanks for watching. Again, please smash the like button, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. I appreciate you for watching. Until next time, please take care.